used from the listeners as well, 85058. Now, the British public has picked X-rated over X-factor, it would seem. Rage Against the Machines, Killing in the Name, is the Christmas number one after a Facebook campaign to deny the X-factor winner, Joe McKeldry, the top spot. It just irritates Simon Cowell, it would seem, in some people's uh, views. They played live for us last Thursday. Killing in the name of... Well, we can talk to the band's guitarist, Tom Morello, now. Hi, Tom. Hi, how are you? Very well. And with us as well as John Mortar, who set up the anti-X Factor Facebook campaign. Um, how do you feel about this? Well, John, first of all, I'd like to thank you very much for your efforts. I think it's a, it's a perfect example of you never know where a spark is going to come from that's going to start this sort of conflagration that became a prairie fire and uh, really swept through the in entire country. And just on behalf of the, all the members of Rage Against the Machine, we're really honored to have been drafted by this historic grassroots campaign to make our song the number one song in the UK Christmas Week pop chart. It's a huge victory by and for fans of real music. And we extend our heartfelt thanks to every fan and freedom fighter who helped make our anthem freedom of fighter. rebellion. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, it, was, it, it was the anarchy Christmas miracle of 2009. <laughs> Praise the Lord. John. You come on. <laughs> Good morning, Tom. Um, How's it going? Uh, I mean, you guys have been fantastic with all this as well, really. Um, I wasn't entirely sure how you'd uh, you'd take to it, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, it, it just, you're right, a little bit of a mini-anarchy at Christmas. I just thought uh, enough was enough, really. Let's uh, let's try and get something fresh. Let's blow some cobwebs away. Uh, Tom, we've had texts from a few of our listeners this morning saying, you know, that this was no, this was no less a campaign than Simon Cowell's campaigns to get number ones or, or, or campaigns. He just happen to have a lot more money behind it happens to have a lot more money behind him isn't isn't part of what the music industry has always been about is pr campaigning making sure people are thinking of you and not the other guy yeah except that this is the the, the dramatic difference with this campaign is it didn't come from a corporation it came from people it came it was a completely an organic and grassroots um happening i mean i, I was actually just looking at the facebook um wall tonight uh and, you know, which now has, I believe, almost a million members. And the, 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 the one saying on there that really struck me, I think, distills the whole essence of this. It's a lot bigger than X Factor versus Rage Against the Machine. One young man wrote, it's almost like we can actually change our world if we stick together. And I think that that's, you know, that is the message that is contained within the music of Rage Against the Machine. And, you know, whether it's in a small matter like these, you know, the, the pop chart or on larger societal matters, I think that uh, a lesson has been learned by all of us. And, John, you've been in contact with Simon Cowell, haven't you, over the last few weeks? Uh, Did he take the news well? Well, um, he he called me on um, Saturday, late Saturday evening, uh, just as the chart was about to sort of really close. And um, he, he, to be fair to him, he he was very, very excellent with me. Um, he said, you know, it's been a, with all due respect, it's been a fantastic campaign. It's been probably the the best Christmas number one fight for for numerous years now. And um, he 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 was great. He just took took his hat off to us to say, look, you know, hey, you've pulled that one off. You might want to tap him well, up I, for I, a job I, very very soon. <laughs> go on, Tom. Like go on, to, Tom. I, I'd like I'd like to say that Rage Against the Machine are still waiting for our congratulatory call from Simon. Cowell. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it will come. Any free concerts in the UK, Tom, to say thank um, yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're going to make we're going to make good with our promise of okay. uh, playing a free celebratory concert. Uh, we were talking about that earlier tonight. We're going to figure out when that when's the best time to do that okay. so we can accommodate the most. Of people. Tom, many thanks for talking to us again. Tom Morella, who's the uh, band's guitarist, Rage Against the Machines guitarist, and thanks to John Mortar, who must be very pleased with himself. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of weather. Uh, sleet and snow showers yet again. Some more persistent snow possibly later on this afternoon across some southern and eastern parts of England.